All right, so first I want to say thanks to, for the few people that commented on the last video, gave me some good responses, some good feedback, and a couple people even kind of hinted at wanting an update. So this is kind of where I've taken the build so far. Uh, gotten into red maps for the most part, even though they're kind of hard to sustain and I'm bad at that. But I have cleared multiple tier 15s, almost no problem. The bosses are no problem. Uh, I've done Xiri. I don't really do bosses, like endgame bosses. But I've done Red Elder, I've done regular Ziri, I tried Uber at Ziri, but I'm just bad at the fight, so I didn't beat it, but I think it's easily doable with this build. Uh, and I haven't gotten to Shaper yet, but I do plan on trying Shaper with this build, so we'll get to that. Uh, next thing, I did change a few things about the build. For the most part, I kind of upped the clear speed quite a bit, because I did accidentally link uh, Queen of the Forest, if you didn't see that little clip. I was like chilling, watching some YouTube, just kind of messing around with my inventory, and boom, one fusing. Shit was tight. Anyway, the I, I after looking at it for a while with the quivers, because a couple of people said something about uh, various quiver interactions. The thing that we're scaling on the build itself, or on the skill itself, is the line that says, and I'll show it here, that says deals base blah blah damage per second, and then at the bottom, the second to last line. It says modifiers to projectile damage also apply to this weapon. Now that means things that specifically say projectile damage, not things that say flat like you know five to ten damage added to uh, attacks with a bow or something. I just wanted to clarify that in case anyone got confused. Um, I'll show a couple examples of what I'm talking about. Here's the one with a check mark, one with an X, and. Uh, so there's that, but anyway, the build itself works really well in delves, specifically, because it, it runs really fast, the new phase run is great for delves, uh, people are going quartz flask, quartz flask, why use a quartz flask, just use phase run and increase duration, and you're good. So, that's pretty much it for that, uh, excuse me, part of things. So anyway, back to the quiver stuff. Uh, what I wound up deciding to get on a quiver is the only thing that I personally see as useful on a quiver. Like, uh, somebody said rear guard and the extra projectile, or uh, excuse me, attack damage does scale the dot, but only a little bit. What I got was this uh, shaped quiver with bow attacks, fire, one additional arrow, and couple that with the helmet enchant where toxic rain fires one additional arrow and it almost I feel like doubled my clear speed because it spreads out the arrows so far you don't have to actually aim at the enemies nearly as much mirage archer hits whole giant packs like if you stand in the center of the uh, uh, if you stand and fire at the center it almost covers your whole screen so extra arrows I think is much more important than a little bit of defensive damage plus the block on rear guard doesn't really matter anymore they nerfed block, although I haven't looked at how that changed, actually, but whatever. Uh, but I have 45-something percent evasion without my 100% jade flask up. And I have 100% jade flask, plus I have acrobatics and phase acrobatics, and I'm running a serious step. With the uh, spell dodge life and 30% movement speed, so overall, I think with the quiver I would not worry about any sort of damage stats because it's not going to matter uh, to the rear guard I don't think is actually useful in this so I mean that's basically it uh, there's a couple other things that I probably am going to forget to touch on but if you have any questions comments concerns let me know in the comments I will answer every single one of them because obviously only like five people commented on the last video which is more than I've ever had so I really appreciate that but that means I'm not going to miss anything so quality problem to have right also, uh, I am leveling a new character. It is a smite character, but hold on, because they're going to say, Wow, everyone's doing that. That's going to be all played out. But I've found the new trick, and I'm pretty sure that mine's going to be one different and two better. So, we're going to see. But if you're, you're curious about that, slap that subscribe button. That shit will be coming out in like three, four days. I do kind of got to go back to work now after the holidays, so my progress is going to slow down just a little bit. But it'll be coming, don't worry. But yeah, uh, thanks again for everybody who watched and commented on the last video. I really appreciate that. So that's it for me. Uh, enjoy the rest of this Ziri run. 
Uh, it's regular Ziri, not Uber, because I'm a little bitch and I don't do bosses. Alright. Alright, so uh, I almost forgot to actually show the gear, but I'm not very good at this. So, uh, not much has changed in way of weapons, gloves, and all that, but still the Quill Rain. Uh, I, I dropped the Herald of Agony. Doesn't do anything as far as I can tell. Uh, I just kind of have some gems leveling in here. Uh, still the same pair of gloves, mainly for the Frenzy Charge on Kill, which, eh, I mean, I could just get Attack Speed, Life, and Resistance gloves, but... Whatever, it's working out fine. Uh, belt, resistance life, as you would expect, it's series step for the life, the dodge, uh, spell dodge, and the high movement speed, plus the evasion is good. I did not quality these before I corrupted them. Wow, I'm really smart. The quiver, which I was talking about earlier, fires one additional arrow. It just, I also did pick up some resistances on it. The fire damage to bow attacks at the top doesn't do anything, and then I crafted life on it. Uh, I switched from a Devotos to a Starkonjas, not because necessarily I think it's better, although I, it actually is better because I, it's life and then the little bit of attack speed difference and movement speed isn't really that necessary, but mainly because I purchased it with the um, Helmet Enchant, the Toxic Rain Fires one additional arrow. I already had it on there, I paid one and a half exalts for it. Not too bad of a price, I was happy with it. And then uh, the Queen of the Forest, I... I don't know if I even really would go for this necessarily. I was just trying to link it for fun with some extra stuff that I had. And, uh, yeah. So I, I wound up going with that. So I got me a Jade Flash to go along with it. And it <laughs> works out really well. I run really fast. Really fast. It could be faster. It could be faster because I don't have enough evasion yet. That might have something to do with it. But, um, a la hoop of all, I only am wearing this because it dropped and it has a good damage roll and now I need the stats for my faster casting on my portal gem. Uh, that's not so uh, special but not so bad. I think this is the same amulet I had before, life, lots of resistance, that's pretty much it there and then I got a new ring. Still again, nothing special here, just life resistance. Not even that much resistance, I think I only paid like 3, no 2 chaos for this ring. That ring was cheap as crap, so overall the uh, gear itself isn't like super special. The biggest stuff, I mean, yeah, I do have a six link, but the biggest stuff is the additional arrows from the helmet and the bow or the quiver, which I have been trying to corrupt a quill rain that's item level 75 or higher with a bow, or I'm sorry, with a uh, bow's fire one additional bow attacks fire one additional arrow. That's what I'm trying to say, and I have yet to succeed. But I've tried a few times, and it's not working out. And you can actually also corrupt that on quivers that are like item level 80 or 82. But I'm not going to corrupt my quiver because that scares the hell out of me. Because I paid a little bit for this quiver. I think like 30 chaos or something. I can't remember. I bought it days ago. But yeah, so those are two ways to get two more arrows, which give you nine. And that just sounds bonkers to me. Maybe someday, but not right now. Alright, that was it. Uh, back to the rest of the Ziri run because I almost forgot about that. Uh, yep.